Good morning everyone. Welcome to my messages. I'm Jalela Starr. As you can see, I'm sitting out here in the back. Uh, this is my big tree, uh, black walnut tree, Thomas back here. Yeah, I name all my plants, all my trees. Anyway, I thought I'd just switch it up a little bit on the backgrounds and uh, do something different. So, uh, welcome to my backyard. Okay, so what are we going to talk about today? Well, I thought we'd talk about the positive signs that we're actually completing this grand experiment of polarity integration uh, and the ascension process, which is all kind of part of the same thing. Because I know it's crazy right now. I mean, it is insane. You just turn on the TV, which I don't do much anymore, and you watch this whole political process where we're trying to elect a new president. It is beyond crazy. It is beyond ludicrous. I mean, it's an embarrassment <laughs> to the American people. You got Trump on one hand, probably Clinton on the other hand. One can't be bought, one gets bought by everybody. <laughs> I mean, it's just crazy. And one was up to be indicted for um, mass murder and, uh, you know, for uh, Benghazi. I mean, it is just, and yet we're still gonna try to elect her. I mean, it does not make sense. But that's the point, and that's what I want to talk about. We're losing, a lot of people are losing hope right now. I, I see it, I see it in my emails pretty much on a daily basis. People are going, the world's gone crazy, we're doomed, it's not going to happen, uh, we're not going to make it this time. Let me just say this. The last three grand experiments, and there were three others, three other worlds, three other human home worlds, and just a side note, if you haven't read about it, if you're new to my, to my blog, then go to the Galactic Federation area of the website and look at the three Earth, three Earth's grand experiments and read about that. And if you want the more detail, just go read the book, Mission Remembered. This is the fourth time we have tried to, or third time we've tried to integrate and complete a universal game of, of light, of integrating light and dark and twice before we didn't make it and the same issues caused us not to make it last time that are showing up now so why is that i'm going to take you off on a little tangent here for a second because when the worlds are destroyed their timelines have to be cannot just be let go because in the souls that were incarnating uh, in the incarnation cycle of those worlds don't get to continue their evolution so those timelines have to be woven into another planet that is uh, current so that the souls can then evolve, uh, incarnate into the, uh, to the new planet and continue their evolutionary cycle and the game. So this is a third one. And so we have the souls from the Pleiadian uh, Earth, the Lyran Earth, and also, well, we, we want to talk about Sirius B, but they're, they're all connected and those timelines are here and they're playing out here at the very end, hopefully to a more positive conclusion. And that's where we're seeing the craziness of today connect. Because the two big issues that brought down the two worlds were racism, that was number one, and uh, the inability to accept a different species as well, not just the color, but also the species between the humans and the reptilians on one, and with the other one, it was between the humans and the artificial intelligence. So we're seeing all of this happening now, and what we have to do is step back and look at the bigger picture in light of the universal history to say, okay, is there any signs that we're making it this time? Well, let's talk about some current signs, okay? Number one is, uh, oh, and the other thing that caused the demise is that when all things became revealed, all that was hidden, all the truth about what was really going on and who was really pulling the strings and how human beings were, you know, were just slaves uh, to a, a select few who were controlling the planet behind the scenes, they couldn't ha they couldn't handle that. They went to war to try to destroy those those few and ended up destroying their planet in the process. So, the signs that I'm seeing, let's talk about the mass police shootings and Black Lives Matters. 
In both of these cases, I have seen overwhelming evidence of people instead of rioting and, and, and demanding that everybody, be, you know, demanding revenge and, and going to war, what we're doing is we're choosing compassion. You're seeing, you know, hug a, hug a policeman day. You're seeing uh, black people wanting to hug white people, white people wanting to hug black people. It was the opposite of what the powers that be wanted. Now, why do the powers that be want that right now? It's because they know that unity is will destroy them. I mean, their game is up. Once the people figure out what's going on, but they choose not to go to war, they choose unity, consciousness, and compassion, their game is up. They're done. Their role is finished. So we're seeing, we're seeing people choose compassion over the police shootings, not go to war, so they can't create racism anymore. We're seeing people not buy into that. We're seeing people, as, as the uh, truth of things come out, they're going, uh-huh, uh-huh, but they're not looking to go and murder all these um, people, the powers that be, they're choosing compassion. So these are the signs that we're getting it the third time around, you know, third time's the charm. So, and, and, and it's gonna get a little bit crazier before everything is resolved because some of the timeline events have not quite finished playing out yet. I figure we got, mm, I don't wanna say how long we got, not that long. But uh, we're, the point is we're making it. We're making it, we're choosing compassion. When the truth is starting to come out, we're not flipping out, we're not calling for, some, for blood. We're going, okay, we get it, you know? And we're choosing to take back our power without violence. That is key. So hang in there, it's about to shift. And I wanna say a thank you to everybody who has helped to make this happen because it is all of us who have been involved in making this happen. All, you know, every time you integrate something, you're putting a template in the grid or you're adding to an existing template or that other souls can access to resolve the same conflict in a positive, compassionate manner. Every grid worker who has been involved in anchoring points of light around the planet, you have your work is starting to pay off. For all of those who have been involved in template making, especially, I mean, I wanna give a special shout out to anybody who's involved in the template making that uh, I was involved in for the, cause I knew about the final events and we had to go around and make templates. The, well, it's, it's in the book, Mission Remembered, it's, um, go read the 2005 template series uh, on the website under the Galactic Federation area and you'll kind of get an idea of the templates. So we've had everything in place to, to make it, to do it right this time and we're seeing evidence that it's happening. So hang in there, it's gonna get a little crazier but then it's gonna resolve itself and just keep doing your emotional clearing. That's the most valuable thing that you can do. So that's it for today. Um, Love you guys, big hugs, and I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.